happen. What's going on everyone? It's September 14th. We're in Michigan, but it's 5.30 a.m. And this is the start of a very long journey that's going to be 20 some days long. It's going to be absolutely insane. By far the longest trip I've ever, ever done. And left at about 4.15 this morning. Heading to go pick up Mitch, Mitchell Neeb. He's going to be tagging along, filming the entire thing. A little sleep deprived. Other than that, we're loaded down, ready to go. Fix your batteries. No. You didn't bring them? No. Oh. All right. All right, we made a slight detour for some reason, well not for some reason, Instead of taking Iowa 80 like we normally do going out west, we're going to North Dakota for our first stop. So we're going around Chicago and north, and it swings us right by Matthews. So we're here, we just pulled up, we're gonna stop in and say hey to the guys. Um, I'm actually gonna pick up a quiver, because I, for some reason, lost my quiver. So we're gonna grab a quiver, hang out for a bit, and get back on the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut her off. Well, everyone, done with Matthews. Got to hang out with the guys for about an hour or so. But uh, we just stopped and got Culver's. I am dead tired, so I'm sleeping in the back. Mitch is up to bat. We still got like 10, 11 hours to go. And uh, oh, just under halfway there. Stop number five. We're in, Min or not Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota, just outside of Minneapolis, almost in North Dakota. As soon as we get in North Dakota, we're gonna get tags and uh, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Okay, we arrived Fargo, North Dakota, stopping at Walmart. Gotta get our tags and we gotta make it quick because we're running behind. Yep. Illegal. We're gonna grab some dinner and then do the final stretch all the way across North Dakota. We'll be there. Thank you. Well, good morning everyone. This is officially day one in North Dakota. We slept in this morning. We didn't get in until two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. So we just slept in, but it's about nine o'clock right now. Um, we're gonna jump in the truck and do some scouting, drive around. We got um, permission on a bunch of private ground out here, which is um, really awesome. <laughs> Jeremy Beard, uh, all the, if you shoot target archer, you probably know Jeremy Beard. Um, but uh, his family owns a bunch of ground out here. So we're out here hunting and Jeremy's gonna jump, jump in the truck with us and go do some scouting and then we'll sit tonight see if we can't see anything huh. and we're gonna go hmm. usually i never make it like check like by the time you get to the third one there's one you already found it. so i would set my ground blind up over there just wait and then when no antelope would show up or I get bored. Just I would walk around. over here, and I walked over here, and I shot. I shot my mule deer at 72 yards. See something? Uh, it's just some junky car that's been there for 400 years. Okay. Well, we're loading up here for the afternoon sit in North Dakota. We have a spot picked out. Actually, has um, you can bait in North Dakota, so it has a little bit of alfalfa out at this spot, and um, they have a trail camera on it. Uh, and there's been a pretty decent buck been showing up every now and again. Um, 
but we really don't have any more information than that. So we're gonna go in. There is a stand there, but we're gonna get into um, another tree and I kind of do like a hang and hunt. See the area, see where they're coming out. It's gonna be a river bottom. I'm super excited. We're kind of running like a half hour behind schedule, but we're fine. They really aren't gonna be moving until right at last light anyways. So I'm just jacking the tree. <laughs> Oh, he's a stud. He's a stud. 
52 yards crouching down like this dude I, is 100% smoked them I think so I think you went down I think so too <laughs> dude I can't even do that he's nice he's like he's 120s 120 probably Sorry, I punched him for you. <laughs> Dude, first first after you. <laughs> oh my god. For all right now, for all of you haters about hunting over bait, I gotta take all the advantages I can get. I'll just say that right now. It is not any easier. And I guarantee if we sat in th that stand he would not have came in something would have happened we sat 50 yards off of the bait we were at, uh, planning on shooting at this alpha alpha field um and that stud 10 which is a little little bit bigger not much bigger than that guy I don't know, dude. That's impact. I could be good. That's still lungs. There's just a lot of air laying out. But it could have just hit the opposite shoulder right there. And with his left shoulder coming out, it could have drove the arrow out after it already went in. I still, when he circled around those, like, willows or whatever, it looked 
looked like he was not running good. Yeah, no, I know he wasn't running good. I think he's dead. I think that's, he's dead. that's a kill shot. I think it just hit the officer's shoulder. I hope so. We're gonna go look just real briefly. It's been about 15, 20 minutes. We think he died. The impact was very good. And then we think the arrow just backed out and hit the opposite shoulder, so. Let's just go look real quick. Dead in 40 yards. <laughs> Smoke city, baby. Smoke him. <laughs> He's nice. He's wide. He's really wide. This is this is perfect. This is this is what I wanted. An awesome three-year-old buck. And he's got corn in his mouth. You know, I will say this again. When I hunt Louisiana, you know, and now here, you can bait in North Dakota, and uh, it's a bunch of um, private ground that Jeremy Beard and Buddy is out to hunt. His family manages it super well, and if it's legal. I'm all for it. It makes hunting fun. And, uh, dude, it's like, look, look, look at all that. That's just incredibly beautiful. <laughs> this is a, per this is a great buck. Way outside the ears. It's got a super wide on him. Just a super pretty buck. This never happens. We talked about the first we day. We just talked about, like, the first day never happens. And I'm glad our game plan worked out, sitting farther away from the bait. I really, really, really think that helped. Well, we just got done taking some photos. Still can't believe that it happened on day number one in the afternoon. And a real nice buck, good three-year-old. We're gonna tag him up, go back, meet with the guys. We have no service, so they have no idea that we shot one. September. Attach us around base aim. Can be. Great plus. <laughs> Alright everyone. Well we're done here in North Dakota. And never happens this way. It never happens where we have extra time on our hands. Um, but we got to figure out what we're doing next. Jeremy shot one last night also. This is Jeremy, everyone. He shot a good one last night. Um, but yeah, we're loading up right now, and we're hitting the road. So thank you guys so much for watching the first state of Western Tour. Catch you guys in the next one.